My colleagues and I at the University of Waterloo have built a large-scale model of a functioning brain. We call this model SPAWN, which is short for Semantic Pointer Architecture Unified Network, in reference to the methods we have developed for building this type of model. SPAWN is organized into subnetworks that mimic the structure and function of several neuroanatomical areas responsible for perception, action, and cognitive control. The model receives its only input as a 28 by 28 pixel image, shown on the right, and generates its output by controlling a simulated arm. In this video clip, you can see the high-level neural activity of SPAWN while it performs several tasks, including recognition, list memorization, and syntactic pattern completion. SPAWN is simulated at the level of individual neurons that communicate with a combination of electrical action potentials, or spikes, and chemicals called neurotransmitters. Here, red indicates a high spiking activity, and blue indicates low activity. As the model has 2.5 million neurons, only a small proportion of overall activity is shown. The subnetworks we are showing are approximately mapped to their corresponding anatomical areas. For example, infratemporal cortex, the highest level of the visual hierarchy, is near the back of the brain, while motor areas are in the vertical stripe in the middle. Executive control areas are at the front, with working memory areas just behind them in prefrontal cortex. The simulation is likely too fast and unfamiliar to demonstrate the subtleties of the model. However, we have shown that SPAWN replicates and predicts behavioral and neural data across a wide variety of tasks and data collection methods.